Hey everyone, this is John from UNLV Telecom with another tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to be covering the login and initial setup for UNLV eFax. You must be on a UNLV network to access this application, so you either need to be on campus or connected to your UNLV VPN. Alright, let's get started. eFax is a web application, so the first thing you need to do is open up your favorite web browser and go to fax.voice.unlv.edu. Once the page loads, click on the Sign In with Active Directory button, and then in the pop-up enter your ACE credentials and click on the Sign In button. Once you're signed in, the first thing you should do is complete some initial setup. To do that, go to the top right of the application and click the User Profile icon and select Settings. The Profile tab lets you set the default sender information that will be displayed on the cover page of your outgoing faxes. Fill out the requested information, and then click Save. In the Preferences tab, you have the ability to change the look and feel of the application. In the Sign-In section, you can set your default role, your default mailbox, and your landing page. If you're only responsible for one fax extension, you can probably leave these settings to their defaults. However, if all your department's faxes go to a department mailbox, you might want to change your default mailbox to your department's. In the Display section, you can change how many faxes are seen per page. You can also change your theme from default to dark, or you can change your theme back to default. You can change the panel location from side to bottom. You can modify how contacts are saved. You can also turn on the ability to rename faxes before downloading. The Mailbox Order section gives you the option to change the order of how your mailboxes are displayed when you first log in. Click and drag the mailboxes into the order that you want them and then click Save. In the Fax Default section, you can set your fax's default priority. Most users should leave this at its default setting. If you have more than one cover page assigned to you, here you can select which one will be set as your default. If you made any changes, be sure to click Save. The Templates and Printer Driver sections will be covered in later videos. And that's it! Your initial setup for eFax is complete. Be sure to watch my other eFax videos that cover how to send and receive faxes and manage your contacts. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in learning more about eFax, please contact the UNLV Telecom Help Desk.